welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we're back at the new house. We brought Milo the cat with us so we can introduce him to his new home, and I thought I'd share how he's doing with you all. Tim and I also spent time removing the old carpet and linoleum in the master bedroom. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. My family recently purchased a piece of property with a double wide mobile home up here in the Virginia mountains. We'll be permanently moving here at the end of June, but in the meantime we still live about three hours away in a mobile home rental. We decided to come spend a couple of weeks here at the new house so we could continue the renovations that we started. We decided to bring Milo with us on this trip because we were going to be gone too long to leave him behind at the trailer park. We got to the house pretty late so Milo slept in the house that night. This is the next morning and I've just brought him outside. I was really worried that he was going to be scared and run away, but he's doing so good. He's been hanging out with me here on the front porch just being as sweet as can be. He's ventured out into the yard a few times, but he comes right back. For those of you who may be new here, I thought I'd share a little bit about Milo. He's a stray cat that showed up on our porch at the trailer park last fall. He was so sweet, so I assumed he was somebody's pet. Well, it turned out he did have a family, but they had moved away and left Milo behind. Sweet little boy was coming around looking for food, so I started feeding him. Then he started following me and the dogs around when I would take them out for walks. It was like he was just part of the family from day one, and I knew when we eventually moved that he was going to be coming with us. Look at that sweet boy. I think he's really going to like it here in our new house. I mentioned this in my last video, but just in case you missed it, we had Milo neutered recently, and while he was under anesthesia, the vet had to shave his tail because he had grease or oil. I'm not sure what Milo had gotten into, but it was stuck in his tail fur. I know his tail looks silly, but the hair is already growing back. I've gotten a few questions about his tail, so I just wanted to let you know what happened so you didn't worry. Why, hi there, Miss Willow. How are you doing today? I'm not going to lie. We've been kind of lazy today. We haven't gotten much done as far as renovations go. I spent most of the day outside spending time with Milo and the pups. Milo has been staying close to the house, but Max and Willow are ready to explore. 
We have found so many wildflowers that look like daisies growing all over the hillside. And Tim and I tried to take a ride around the property on the four-wheeler to get a view of the mountains. But everything is so overgrown that we couldn't even get to my favorite spot. I tell you what, we have a lot of land maintenance to do to clear this property up. But just not today. Today is a lazy day. I took Max for a walk down to the barn and look who followed us. Milo said he did not want to be left behind, so he came along just like he used to do back at the trailer park. I'm so happy he's handling the transition to the new house so well. He really is a good cat and I'm so thankful that he showed up on my porch last fall. Well, I guess since Milo is doing so good, I suppose I could go give Tim a hand in the master bedroom. He's ripping out the carpet and linoleum, so let's head inside and give him a hand.
our plans for the next couple of weeks while we are here are to try to lay as much subfloor as possible. We hired a friend to tear out some of the old subfloors for us. He was able to make really good progress in a short amount of time, which saved us from a lot of hard work. But there's still a lot of old subfloor to remove and replace. But right now, our goal is to complete Granny's room by the end of the summer. She will be spending the summer at her daughter's house so that we can spend all of our attention on her room while she is away. That way, when she comes back at the end of the summer, she will have a very comfortable, completed bedroom to spend her time in while we work on the rest of the house. But for today, we're going to finish cleaning up the floor here in mine and Tim's room. This is the last of the old carpet left in the house, and since this is where Tim and I will be staying during the renovation, we wanted to try to clean it up as best as possible. I know this video is a little on the short side, but it's only the first day of our trip back to the new house. We have tons of renovations coming your way, but I really just wanted to spend the day outside with Milo while he was getting to know his new home. He did great, and I really think he's going to love it here. Well, y'all, I think that's about it for another video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to talk to you in my next video. All right, y'all, I'll talk to you later. Bye.